hi guys today i show how to create dynamic database using php and i already created this database first of all i take two variable first variable is connect and second word is SQL query and I check the post is submit because I take a HTML from my method is post and library is database name and input type text name db name placeholder enter a new database name type is submit name is submit so i check the submit post type post type submit post type submit and second the first variable I check the connection MySQL connect localhost root user and password is null and if the connection is not established die the connection failed MySQL error it's shown by this MySQL connected or function then I take a SQL query in this variable create database post dividend that means when I fill up the HTML form I take a database name and it get by db name and i check this name in here then if i take a database name then i check i execute the mysql query this function has two parameter first parameter is connect check the current database connection and second parameter is SQL query and I if the function is successfully execute that show the message that DB database created successfully else eco database is already exist if I have already in a database in my local server so then show the message the database is already exist and close the mysql connection so i write this code in the database dot php file and i go to my browser and this is the part from HTML form of the database the database the PHP file and I go to the local server first is my IP so So there are some database in here so I create a new database database the database name is test code so test code 
does not exist in this server so i paste the subfit query and database has been created and i read out the server and you can see the test code database in here so if you create this database again just select put and the database is already exist cannot be database test code database so I successfully complete my code and if you have any problem face any problem please comment in this comment section and I will give the given the source code in the video description thanks for watching